Hi, I'm Chef Ken. I'm a personal and private chef from Dallas, Texas with Ken Patrick Culinary Group. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to prepare a delicious Cajun gumbo. So classically, gumbo consists of uh, very many uh, ingredients, okay? Being the Trinity or the Holy Trinity is what they call in Louisiana. Holy Trinity consists of celery, onion, and bell pepper. Unlike a maripois, where it's French, they would add carrot. But here is just those ingredients, the celery, onion and bell pepper and bay leaf and cayenne pepper, okay? So uh, basically, once all these things are chopped, this is what it looks like. You have diced celery, diced onion, diced bell pepper, okay? That is the classic traditional start of any uh, Louisiana or Creole Cajun stew or soup, okay? So now comes the roux, okay? You ask, what's a roux? Well, a roux is a mixture, an even mixture of flour, and oil or flour and butter, okay? So what happens is I've melted the, the butter here and I've added some flour, okay? So basically, you just stir this at a very low heat until it reaches this stage, which is considered the chocolate stage or dark stage of a roux, okay? Very important for a gumbo, uh, a Cajun gumbo, to have a dark roux, okay? So just take the time, make it, and remember if you burn it, you have to throw it out, okay, and start over, okay? So what I have here is a gumbo, which I've started. So basically, we started with the roux. We added the, the trinity, okay? Then we added some smoked andouille sausage to that, and then we added some chopped okra. Very classic in a gumbo. You always want to have okra. It's not gumbo if it doesn't have okra in it. I don't care what nobody says, okay? So I have some shrimp. Just some little small gulf shrimp. I'm gonna add these right at the last minute, okay? Because they don't take long to cook. So I have my gumbo here uh, at a simmer. So I'm gonna turn up the heat just a little bit. Okay, now I have some, uh, just some claw crab meat. A lot of times people put the whole crabs in it. Okay, you can do that. You can break them in half, clean them. But what I'm gonna do is just fold in some crab meat, okay? There are no shells, makes it easier to eat. Uh, a little more refined, okay? There's nothing wrong with whole crabs. I mean, I grew up eating those whole crabs in gumbo. So basically, we want to stir this, and we'll be serving the gumbo with just some plain steamed white rice. We'll keep the rice classic, okay? And we just want to get this all incorporated until the shrimp uh, are cooked. And how do you know when they're cooked? They turn pink, and they kind of float to the top, and the shrimp are done. You can add any other seafood. Sometimes people put fish, you know, uh, crawfish in there, but we'll keep it classic. So basically for the plate up, I'm gonna take a, you know, a nice bowl like this. This will be my portion, all right? And you wanna add some of that delicious gumbo right in the bowl like this. So as you can see, it's nice and dark uh, from the roux. It makes it uh, nice and dark. And also, it also has like a nice little nutty flavor from the roux when it reaches that color. And so we'll put a nice scoop of rice, just like that, all right? So basically for presentation, uh, we'll finish it off with a little green onion, that's classic, all right? And this stuff right here is a little ground filet powder, which is uh, made of ground sassafras tree, okay? And there you have it, folks, a little Cajun Creole gumbo with a little steamed rice, a little green onion, and a little sassafras powder. My name is Ken Patrick with Ken Patrick Culinary Group, and you just watched me prepare a delicious Cajun Louisiana gumbo.